Last year, we started out in the Maldives. New people, new culture, and an unforgettable yacht rally. Then we sailed to the Seychelles and spent a month hanging out with some amazing people. Then continued on to mainland Africa, exploring the villages of Tanzania before taking a six-week, four-country road trip around southern Africa. We headed up the coast of Somalia, keeping a close eye out for pirates, and encountered huge winds and waves before safely making it into the Red Sea and being one of the first cruisers to explore Saudi Arabia and Egypt, which is where we picked up our five new guests. We spent the next month sharing boat life with them, then sailed up the Gulf of Aqaba and did some sightseeing in Jordan before saying goodbye. Next, we moved north one mile to Israel and bid YouTube farewell till the new year. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue Basically made only I'll be saved You told yourself the line that I just let it float away Yeah, I'll let it float away I'll let it float away East has been our home for the last several months, specifically the Red Sea and the waters around the Sinai Peninsula in northern Egypt. We've been slowly making our way down the Gulf of Aqaba, around Sharm el Sheikh, and on down to the port city of Hergada in order to pick up our 21 year old daughter Anna so she can spend Christmas with us on the boat. Egypt has welcomed us into their waters, but like most of these countries along the Red Sea coast, they've had to create new systems and procedures to accommodate cruisers, since we're one of the first international private yachts to cruise up and down these waters for an extended period of time, dropping anchor every few days in an entirely new place. Oh, it's beautiful. I guess beautiful. we'll do a couple of nights in Ra's Muhammad because I think it's gonna be really pretty over there, even if it costs me 150 a night. Ooh, yeah. It might be worth doing. Okay, I'm gonna swim. Oh, cold. Well, it is three o'clock in the morning, and Anna's flight is coming in finally. And um, so we're headed to the airport to pick her up. Morning. It's very, very morning. It's very morning. <laughs> so if you're new to the show, our 21-year-old um, daughter, Anna, she was on the boat with us for three years. She was in the monohull for one year and then stayed on the cat for two years with us. And then wanted to go back to Texas to go to college. So that's where she's been for the last uh, couple of years. So we've seen her periodically. We flew home to Montana last Christmas and got to spend time with her and the rest of our family. Um, but this year we decided not to. It's just kind of expensive to fly us all and to leave the boat at a marina. It's kind of pricey. So we flew her to us. She's here. Oh my baby's here. I made it after she made it. the longest flight in the history of my one home is longer. It's longer? Yes. Oh my return sorry. flight is longer. How was your flight here? They wouldn't oh. let me film in the airport. So this is the second. It wasn't like, even that you... dramatic of a reunion because I had bags. I was like, oh. I know it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Oh, all right. What's that for? 
just extra money for my visa. I had to withdraw a thousand. Passport. Wait, what? Well, I hold on all the passports because we'll go through everything. Aww. Yeah, it's a big process. But I, can see. <laughs> I had a lot going on. I'm, glad you're here. I'm also glad to be Aww. here. All right, go to bed. Um. We're going to bed. Since we were already in Egypt, we decided to hop a plane for Cairo and spend a few days with Anna sightseeing. Excited. Are you stoked? I'm gonna feel like a Love tourist, riding camels. But... Get up there. Get up there. Get the maybe. Oh. Get the other side, but your feet and jump. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you did it. <laughs> Lawrence of Arabia. <laughs> what do you think, Anna? It's great. <laughs> I'm riding a camel. How you feeling, Jack? How's that camel treating you? I've got a big horse. <laughs> it's just an extra large horse. Mm -hmm. Eat her, buddy. I'm feeling pretty great. Um, this one keeps sniffing the other one's butt. It's kind of making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little bouncy, not not as comfortable as as uh, I don't know. I've never ridden a camel, but now I have. Now I've ridden a camel. What do you say to make him go? Do you talk to him? Same as a horse. You say I like. I I used to be a cowboy. Now you're a camel boy. Hey camel. <laughs> well, today is Christmas. We had a fantastic uh, morning, opening presents, eating breakfast together. And we're at a beautiful place here in uh, Egypt. We came out to Anchorage with Anna. The boys been kiting. The girls got on the paddleboard, but it is a little bit cold. It's a little chilly, but it's not quite as cold as it is in the United States right now. Everybody's freezing out there, literally freezing. I heard that uh, the entire country got like uh, below freezing. It's crazy. Me and Anna are doing a puzzle. Good way to pass the time on Christmas holidays. A little bit of kiting today. Sorry about the wind noise. Santa brought me a GoPro 360 Max, so I've been playing with that a little bit, trying to figure out how to use it, how to edit with it. It's a little more complicated than just throwing it into Final Cut Pro and editing. Where are we going? Yeah, we're gonna go with you. What? Are you gonna go over there again, yeah? Yeah, I wanna go. Are y'all kiting? No. Oh, hit me my flip flops. Okay, it's Christmas. Merry it's Christmas! Christmas. Anna's back on the boat just for a few more days except she forgot everything she forgot how to tie lines she yeah <laughs> we were leaving the marina and I was like oh what should I do and they were all doing their thingy and I was like all right I'll just sit here what do you think then she's a noob noob she'll right. never be good at sailing because oh, she's right. just indoctrinated into this she's this city that. life and she'll never be a boat lifer again I don't think she's the I think she's okay is... with that yeah that's all right I'm very happy to have Anna back with us. I'm very happy to be here. It's been a great, great Christmas. It has. The best Christmas in a couple years. Like, come on, I got a Christmas in Egypt. All right. right I know. I went paddle boarding this morning to an Egyptian beach. So I think we're scoping out a place to have a fire on the beach tonight. And uh, Finn has started a YouTube channel. 
So hopefully by the time you're watching this, he'll have his first video out and you can go check out his YouTube channel. He used to be Sailor Boy Finn, but he decided in the next few years he might not be sailing. He might be on like on land, on a van, whatever. So he changed his name just to Finn Whitaker. So go check it out. Merry Christmas, love. Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to all of you people out there in the world. It's actually New Year's by the time they watch this, but still. A relic, Egyptian fossils. It's an Egyptian relic from way back in the day. Okay, he's about to light it, so he's gonna want that. What, you're on back in? There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this will be a good spot for a fire, guys. You just see. Let's watch. Just let it burn down a bit. Oh, that's warm. That's nice on my toes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's because Dad's trying to light it. That's lit now. Yeah. Like those. So, Anna, you're leaving tomorrow. I am. Are you sad about it? Are you happy? Or are you mad? Mad? That's Man. an interesting emotion that I would have regarding this. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to get back home, but I've also had, you know, a good time out here. Yeah. A good good Christmas in Egypt. Oh, my eyes yeah. are like... It was good. What's wrong with your eyes, Kate? Smoke's in them. Yeah. Kind of in okay. yeah, was kind of Unfortunate of spot. Your y'all can move the yoga mats to, like, down there. Yeah. Oh, the wind's just kind of shit. So you've I think got... it's, it's swirling right now. So Anna's got um, a year and a half left of college, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's graduated. <coughs> and then she's coming back to the boat. What? <laughs> no? Yes, no, yes, no. Maybe. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. We don't know. It's a waiting game. Okay. It's a waiting game. You can keep hoping. <laughs> you can keep holding out hope. Well, I'm like getting fresh air. We spent the last few days out at Anchorage, just a few miles offshore, and then hopped back to the marina for provisions and fuel. It's like second nature to the boys now to put sails out even for just an hour or so, then quickly roll them back up and prepare for marina docking. Hergot has been a great central spot for us to enjoy the nearby lagoons and beaches, and it's also near to the airport where Anna flew in, and where she'll have to go again in just a few days. So what's the plan? What talk, is the plan? We need to talk about our plans. What's the plan? Do we stay or do we go? Do we stay or do we go? Go I where? I don't want to get pizza up for lunch. Pizza? I, I that, just that, ate. I feel like that's the plan. Pizza. Uh, uh, yeah. I just Put this up. somewhere else, Jake. So uh, yeah, I would rather not eat what we bought for the next day or two. Yeah, you said well, can so. we wait a couple hours so I'm hungry again? Yeah, I'm not hungry either. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, what are we doing? So we what's just renewed plans? our visa for Three months. 90 days here in Egypt. That was $750 for the five of us. Jeez. I thought we already had a plan. What is the plan? Well, that it was to stay in Egypt until I, like, until the end of January. I mean, you guys don't want to go up in the mid where it's cold, do you? Mm -hmm. No kiting and cold. Right I don't know what the water temperature is up there, but it's colder cold. than this. I don't mind. I just don't want to sit in a marina. No. No, we're not going to. We're going to go out. Uh, so we got JJ coming here in a couple of weeks. Coming, mm -hmm. our friend from Tonga. He's coming here. We're gonna be. How old are they? 17, 18? 17. Let's turn 17. Cool. And then uh, once he gets here, our rent runs out here at the marina the 16th. So from that point, we can do two things. We can go to Saudi Arabia. Hmm. But we don't need to do that. We just stay here and kite. But so we could work our way kiting all the way back up. If y'all want to go back to Israel, we could work our way kiting all the way back up to Israel. We go back to Dahab, the Blue Lagoon, try to do some of that action. How much does it cost to get into Israel? Not much. It costs, I mean, it's cheap. I don't think it's less than a, a couple hundred bucks for a whole family. Okay. Cheap. You oh. have to be out of this marina by the, 16th. by the 16th. Yeah, so we won't be local anymore. So come the 16th, we'll come in here and we'll provision. And we'll load up because we need enough food to last us. If, if the 16th, we need enough food to last us till a month from, from then. So how long we stay in Israel? How long would they let us stay there? You can get three months in Israel. 
But then we're coming back through Egypt to go through the canal. We don't have to check oh, in. We all have to check in as you're transiting. We don't have to make sure that our visas are still good. Uh, if we have more kids on the boat in June, when school gets out in June, where, where do y'all want to bring them? Where would they? Uh, where was that? Croatia? Croatia. Croatia. Would it be easier a non Schengen country to get April, them into? April, Turkey, or does May, it not matter? Greece. Greece would be better because you have a lot more places. To April, visit. May, June. Are there kite spots in Greece? Yes. yes. Do you want people to come out? Do y'all want to do another four fiver? I I'm do. not gonna answer that right now because that's a long ways away. Right. I and do you want people to come? I like I like the dynamic changes when I we do bring too. people out. I love it. How about everybody out there who watches Zatar? Do you guys like us when we bring people out here, young kids out here, or would you rather just be us and a few of our friends that are like we're bringing JJ out? I think that's going to be a good combination. Anyway, leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments if you like that. If you like those episodes where we had strangers out, we could do a little more detail on them, and you know, have, maybe have a contest, vote them off every week, <laughs> or have the audience vote them off. Oh this God. week, oh what was the show on TV where you had to vote? Survivor. Every, no, that was the crew voted you off. The, I mean, the, the the tribe voted you off. But there was another deal, right? Seacrest, where the, the audience got to vote who they wanted to American be your next. Idol? Yeah, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah. So instead of voting for your next American Idol, you're voting for your next American or your next uh, idiot that you're going to send know. off the vote. That's I not don't know. Gonna go over well. Well, think about that. Y'all leave it in the comments and let us know what you think. You yeah. Should do. Well, we're wintering in Egypt, so we got another, about another month and a half, two months here in Egypt. Uh, I tell you, Felix Agency, they've been with us this whole time since we got into Egypt. The first time was a little tough, but they've learned how cruisers work because of us. They've, they've been with us. They're learning how we cruise, how we like to go to places, where we like to anchor, how we like to anchor, how we like to do this. And so if you guys are coming to Egypt... Uh, Get a hold of Felix uh, Mar Agents. Maritime, yeah, I'll yeah, put a Felix link there. Maritime. Just go to the link. Yeah. Uh, they're going to know how we do things. They're going to know how I did it. And so they are already practiced up in understanding what we do. They can book all your stuff to Cairo or Luxor and everything like that. They handle all that stuff. They did a great job for us while we were there. And uh, so it was a good time. Uh, Egypt's cooler. It's not as cold as the Reds, as, as the Med. So uh, freedom of movement has turned out to be pretty good here now that Felix has learned how to make it happen for us. I'm sure they're doing a lot of work on the back end, but it's pretty easy. You tell them you're leaving the marina, you go out, you, you go where you want to go, you anchor where you want to go, and, and you do what you want to do. And uh, there are a few forbidden spots you can't go to, but it's been pretty easy. So lots of great anchorages, lots of great places to go, good provisioning. We've kind of sorted out the provisioning here now, so it's all good. We get around by Uber and taxis, and it's extremely cheap. A 20 minute Uber ride across town costs about two US dollars. But most drivers don't speak English, so a translator app on your phone is handy to have. Here we are again, middle of the night. One o'clock in the morning, Anna's leaving. She's been here for um, two weeks. She has a wedding to go to in January, so she has to leave. Um, so it's very sad, we have to say goodbye. And I don't know why, but her flights are leaving in the middle of the night. Like, what is that? I don't know. Do these people not sleep? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So we went to Cairo. We paddleboarded. What else did we get to do? Puzzles, card games. Yeah. Oh, it was great. Thank you, Muhammad. It was great. I had a great time. It was good. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Have a nice trip. Sorry. I hate saying goodbye to you. No, I know. One day, it's sad to go. But I had a great time. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. There she goes. She's got to figure out where to go. Go home and go to bed.